Yeah, it's, it's very interesting to me when I talk to these MBA students. Uh, one of them from the University of Chicago, the very first question I got a few years ago, he says, what are we being taught that's wrong? The amount of time spent at business schools, maybe it's a little less now, but teaching things like option pricing and that sort of thing, it's totally nonsense. I mean, you need two courses in a business school. One is how to value a business and the second, from the standpoint of investments, how to value an, a, a business and how to think about stock market fluctuations. But the idea that you would spend all of this time with formulas, but the problem, of course, is that the instructors know the formulas and you don't when they come. And so they've got something to fill the time uh, explaining to you. And, you know, it is no fun if you I mean, if you were if you were teaching, teaching biblical studies, you know, and you could read three or four of the most important religious tomes forward and backward in five different languages, you would hate to tell somebody that it all comes down to the Ten Commandments. I mean, any damn fool can do that. So there's there's a great desire of, 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 of the priesthood in, in finance to want to teach the things that they know and you don't know and that they spend a long time learning and that maybe require a fair amount of mathematics. And it it really has nothing to do with investment success. Investment success depends on buying into the right businesses at the right price. And you have to know how to value businesses and you have to have a, an attitude that divorces you from being influenced by the market. You, you want the market there not to influence you. You want it there to serve you. And, and that requires a mindset, which goes back to an earlier question. And it's a mindset that's, that's described quite well in Chapter 8 of The Intelligent Investor.